Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, I'll be splitting my time with uh, Louis Saint Laurent. Did I say it right? Th thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, I'm pleased to rise today to once again speak to an issue that I and many Canadians care deeply about. I'm thankful to be given the privilege to speak to Bill C-45 at the third reading. <clears throat> this is a piece of legislation that addresses an issue very close to me. Today, I am going to speak to why I oppose Bill C-45. First and foremost, marijuana is a dangerous drug. The Liberal government should not push through this legislation. This is not what is the right for Canadians. In theory, the purpose of this bill is to protect public health and public safety. In practice, C-45 will not achieve this goal. One of main concerns regarding this legislation is accessibility to create for drugs. C-45 does not keep marijuana out of the hands of children. It allows the marijuana to be grown in households. If marijuana is, is in people's homes, what message is that sending to our kids? This legislation does not keep our children healthy and or safe. I hear from concerned constituents almost every day <coughs> that are confused and, and this legislation are worried about what it means for their families the Liberal government cannot recklessly continue to push through this legislation. We know marijuana is a dangerous drug. We know that marijuana is a damaging to the human body and addictive. We know that marijuana causes harmful effects on, on youth brain development, a greater, greater incidence of psych Psych psychosis and psychophrenia. Yet, yet, despite all the scientific evidence, the Liberal government is set to ensure that marijuana will be legal by July 1, 2018. I oppose this legislation entirely. I choose to listen to the concern raised by the scientists, doctors, and law enforcement uh, officials. I want to advocate for this voice that are not heard in this legislation. Those who say this legislation plan is being rushed through, without proper planning or consideration for the negative consequences for such complicated legislation. Madam Speaker, the passing of C-45 would lead to a negative repercussions at the, at the global level. I have spoken before to this concern, but it is an important one. If this legislation passes, Canada will be in violation of three international treaties. If this <coughs> bill passes, how can Canada hold other countries <coughs> to count on their treaty obligation when Canada does not honour its own? There are various issues with this legislation that led, to, led me to, to conclude that, that it is thoughtless irresponsible and rushed. The only goal it has to reach the arbitrary deadline of July 1st, 2018. The Liberal government is not listening to the medical professionals. They're not listening to our police, police forces. They're not even listening to the concerned Canadians who believe this bill is fundamentally flawed and is being rushed through Parliament in order to meet the arbitrary uh, arbitrary, irresponsible, ir ir irresponsible deadline. For these reasons and many more, I am entirely opposed to this legislation. The science is clear. Marijuana is a dangerous. Madam Speaker, I want to touch further on the issues of our children and families. The last thing we want is our juice consumption to increase. We do not want our children to have increased risk of mental health disorder. We should be setting our children up to, up to succeed. When it comes to your youth, I know we all want to ensure that they are safe and able to have a better life and more opportunity than we did. Bill C-45 will not help us achieve this goal for our children, allowing easier access to drugs, will not leave our children better off. 
currently, the bill recommends the age 18 as a federal minimum. However, the provinces are being given the power to set a higher age. This is a, prob a prob problematic. If we talk to our southern neighbors, the United States, the state, the state of Washington and Colorado have legalized marijuana, have used the age of 21 as, a, as the minimum. Ontario presently said they will set their minimum age at 19, and Alberta said they will set their minimum age at 21. We know this is not safe. Countless medical professionals have testified that the brain continue to develop until the age of 25. According to the Canadian Medical Association, increased use of marijuana before the age of 25 increases one's risk of developing mental disorders such as psychophrenia, depression, and anxiety by up to 30 percent compared to those who have used marijuana. I regret to interrupt the member. Order. I, I regret to interrupt the member. However, um, we have to move on with the questions and the statements. Um, so the member will have approximately four minutes after question period when the orders are back before the House.